Hey, what's up, guys? The Prince here. Welcome to Black Ops 3, uh, Tetsubu no Shima. Guys, today we're taking a look at how to build the skull of Nansapwe, and it's going to be an in-depth guide of exactly where every altar is, where you, where you put um, the skull and how they match up. Now, the first one we're going to take a look at, guys, is this skull right here. So what you want to do is come to this area by the spawn on, on the right-hand side and come to this area where the trial totem poles are going to be. From there, you want to pick up one of the skulls that match the altar. Now these altars can be found around the map and there's one right here in the spawn as you start. And what you want to do is walk up and press square to place the skull into the altar. Now, before doing this, I highly recommend that you get grab a gun. Any gun will do. It's just that this, these rounds get pretty intense with the actual zombies from the round spawning as well and they hit you. The ones running for the skull are trying to destroy it. They don't actually hit you, but they get in the way and confuse you as to which one which ones are trying to hit you, like these ones here, and which ones are purely going for the skull, like this one here. So the object here is to just not let the zombies destroy the skull, and eventually the skull will finish up and destroy every zombie in its path that was uh, trying to destroy the skull, like so. So once that's done, go ahead and clean up the rest of the zombies. Pick up your skull, and as you can see, it is now cleansed, and it's not that, that bloody color anymore. It is now like a white skull. Okay, so once that skull's done, what you want to do is bring it back to where you got it from, which is this area where the totem poles are for your trials, and go ahead and place it back into the table. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and pick up another skull. For me, it's going to be this one right here, and we move on to the next altar in the game. All right, guys, so the next altar is going to be found by the plane trap to the left of spawn, and it's going to be right here in this little swamp area. Now, be careful here because spiders do spawn, and they actually attack you, and they don't actually go for the skull. And they pile up and they get annoying so like i said get a gun ready uh, any gun will do and then watch out for this one zombie i don't want to kill him because i don't want to end the round so you want to do is just be careful just run, run trains around that zombie and let him live because you're going to really not want to end the round here because they're going to pile up on the next round they're going to destroy you so when the skull's done everyone's going to die off just like that except for those zombies watch the nuke <laughs> try and get one zombie left so once that's done go ahead and pick up your skull again it's just rinse and repeat and then take the skull back to the table so back at the table here go ahead and place the skull back in its slot and you're going to see it lights up blue and now you're down two and you have two more to go so go ahead and pick up any skull here as we move on to the next altar okay so the next altar guys can be found through the bunker and what you're going to want to do is come to the left here to where the power room is it's your first left into the bunker and then from there take a left again and here is the altar now i've picked up the right skull it was a complete guess um just pick up a random skull uh, and then what you want to do is hold down square again and then same thing's going to happen now you're going to get thrashes spawning uh from now on so i highly recommend that you guys grab juggernaut if you can and another great weapon for the thrashes is the uh marshals so from now on it's rinse and repeat go ahead and pull out your guns and defend the uh the skull and of course, you don't want to end the round, so try not to kill the zombie that's part of the round, and you should be all sweet to go. You don't have to kill the thrashers, they will die when the skull is done. And I don't think the thrasher attacks the skull anyway. So there you go, the skull is done. Go ahead and pick it up. And from there, take it back to the table where the totem poles are, and move on to your next skull. So back at the table now, what you want to do is just put the skull down like you've done for the other two. So now you've done three and you've got one more left. Go ahead and grab the last one. And we're going to move on to the last uh, altar spot now, which is going to be through the bunker again. And I'll show you in just a second. So come through the bunker again, guys. And what you want to do is run all the way to the back and open it up. And the altar is going to be downstairs where you actually start to build the KT4 and where you upgrade it as well. So come down here all the way to the back and the altar is going to be right about here and I am low on ammo and I just realized that so me me by doing this is going to be very risky but uh, <laughs> I'm going to go for it anyway so here we go so what I do here is I save the marshals in case a, uh, a big thrasher spawns simply because you can take the thrasher out uh, fairly quickly and then you got the spiders as well which are annoying to deal with just, I recommend down here, it's a bit of a tighter area, just running trains. And again, the spiders, they won't touch the actual altar. They will attack you though. So there's the thrasher. 
I go ahead and try and take him out, but unfortunately I run out of ammo here. So now I'm just praying that the skull finishes before it... Yep, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, before it, uh, before it uh, gets destroyed by the zombies. So there you go. It's not a long process. Go ahead and pick up your skull. And then once again, we're going to take it back to the table where the totem poles are for your trials. So back at the table now where the totem poles are, all you want to do is put the skull back in and then watch as this tree in front of us blows away and a door opens up to a ritual downstairs. Kind of cool. So if you're completely out of ammo like I am, it doesn't matter because the, you're going to be versing these guardians that you see. And what's going to happen is they're only a one knife kill. So walk up to this thing and hold down square. And that is the skull of Nan Sapway. So as you can see, they are a one knife kill. They can swarm you. So you do got to be a little bit careful with how you do this. Just always check your back and uh, never stand still. <laughs> so when it's done, you're going to get this little audio cue and the skull is going to be able to uh, be obtained. All you gotta do is go up to it and hold square on it like this and the skull is yours. Now be aware the door here opens up again so if you've got a horde behind you I wouldn't stare at it for too long. <clears throat> you need to run out. Now guys that's how you build the skull of Nan Sapway. It's pretty cool. It's got two options. You can L2 to mesmerize which actually stops the zombies or the spiders in their tracks and they just sort of get like in his daze sort of thing like so and then you have the R2 option, which is called Vaporize, which is completely insane. It just sort of wrecks anything in front of you, as shown. <laughs> On a horde of zombies, it looks pretty sick. Unfortunately, I don't have a horde of zombies. And there you go, they just get wiped out instantly. And, okay. <laughs> so that's how you build it, and that's how you use it. And if you die and go down, you don't lose it. You can go back and pick it up. It's, it's like a special weapon, just like the sword or the Ragnaroks, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoy, go and smash the like button. As always, if you're new, subscribe today. And I'm going to be putting more guides on zombies on my channel. I'm going to start doing these guides uh, a bit more often now, and for any new map packs that come out. So, guys, stay strong and stay tuned, and I'll see you all in the next uh, video. All right, later.